Yo, yo, yo. I probably should have grabbed everything that I needed to grab first. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Let's get this narrow bread. Hello, hello. We're in for a very chill practice day today. Um, let's see. My goals for today. Let's see. I want to. I want to get better. I want to practice the D and the A chords, and I want to do the chord switching exercise again. And I might watch Justin's video on his on the song because uh, apparently there's a really easy two chord song which would be very pog champ I imagine I don't know maybe we'll do that and yeah that's the plan is just practice for about an hour and a half maybe watch some new Justin content I forgot I was gonna get a stool for this oh well it'll have to wait till next time okay let's see if I fucking oh wait is this too loud that might be a little fucking loud the volume's a little high on that Nice. Oh, that's what these. Would you believe me if I said I didn't know these knobs turn the volume down on the guitar? But should I try tuning it again? I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll try tuning it again. How, how, how often does guitar go out of tune? First try, imagine. Day three, first try. Oh! That's a pod champ moment. Let's go, baby. Again. Okay, that was a little. Yeah, that's good. Again. problem now is going to be um, switching, not even switching between, because I can get my fingers in the general, I can get my fingers in the general position they need to be, it's getting them the exact position, like, if I have to play them back to back really fast, it'll be really hard to do it, but, it's only day three, I guess. 
Come on, get involved. Everything's being pushed down. We're not touching that last one. Oh, yes, we are. So now today we'll make the second day we're practicing at the end of A chord. I don't know if maybe once I get used to how guitar works and sounds, I'll be able to learn new chords faster, or maybe I am going fast. I don't know. Let's hit him with hit him with one of these. Wait. There we go. Sometimes I forget to hold that uh, next finger down. Go again. Okay, it's going better than I thought. Before I get to that um, song quicker, let's try the D chord again. That? What happened? Okay, for some reason now I can't get the D chord to come. How do you have your hands, Justin? It always helps to look at his hands for some reason. I move. Am I fucking. Am I dumb as fuck? No, I'm not. For some reason, I can't get back into the D chord even though I had it so good earlier. fingers in position. This looks like volume in this thing. Actually, I don't know what this second knob does. Maybe I'll figure it out one day. I'm going to turn up the gain a little bit. If it gets too loud, This feels like gain right here. I want it to sound more like a, a, a rock guitar, you know?
feels loud. It feels a little loud there. <clears throat> action there it's gonna be fucked up okay oh shit I didn't realize this shit was on this one starting to get some muscle memory from the switch to be able to switch between them but I didn't take the record right video so we'll be practicing a little bit more let's do this Let's try 
trying some chord switching, not time for now. I would like to time it at the end. But we'll go. So slow right now. Okay. Let's do a little bit of this. Something I'm noticing is I gotta keep my uh, this part of my finger off the guitar. I end up, especially on the A chord, I end up doing it back here. I guess it doesn't matter too much on the D chord, but on the A chord, it likes to sit on there. into the habit of strumming the right chords. Yada yada. And let's do it. First try. Gotta work on our speed a little bit. Also, I wonder what the little switch does. It definitely feels like the switch flipped up to me it makes the guitar sound more distorted, which I like, so or more electric, I guess. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know fucking music. the song I want to
Super easy two chord songs. Let's go, Justin. Hey, how you doing, Justin? Let's Here go. today I'm going to share with you some awesome songs that have only two chords that are going to be perfect for you to practice this week. Get your chord changes between your A chord and D chord, give you some experience playing songs. And I should point out even before I talk about the songs, it is going to be a little bit tricky, particularly like the first few days of practicing. If you've only just learned your A chord and your D chord and you're struggling to change between them, playing a song is going to be mighty difficult. But it's well worth having a go at, okay? Making sure you choose a song where it hasn't got too many chord changes or slow the tempo down if you're using my beginner song course app, which I'll talk about more in a second. But keeping the tempo nice and easy, try just having a go at feeling what the pressure's like. It'll really give you an understanding of why it's really important to practice your chord changes, because you'll find that you play one chord and already the so you need to change to the next chord. It'll in help inspire you. Don't find it frustrating. Think of it as like an inspiration oh, tool, not a, oh God, I, I can't it. even do it. It's the first lesson. It's gonna be hard. If it was really easy, everyone would be able to play guitar but you're special, you can stick with it and go, oh, right. God, this is really difficult. I understand now why you're saying that the, doing you're the chord special. changes are so important. On, and after the second day, and your chord changes are a little bit better and you have a go at playing the songs, you're like, oh, I'm, I'm nearly there. Maybe like five, six practice sessions in, you'll actually be able to play along with the song. And that's such a good cool feeling when you get to that point. So do bear with it, even if it feels a little bit awkward. Right, that when you first have a good play along with the song. Now, the song that I normally encourage people to get into is the song Dance the Night Away by the Mavericks. It's basically D chord for a bar, two, three, four, A chord for a bar, three, okay. four, D chord, two, three, four, A, two, three, four. It's that for the whole song. Oh. Nothing different. Really excellent song for practicing your chord changes. Your anchor fingers, getting your fingers in a nice position, strumming on the one. It's, it's got all of that stuff going on. For the first few days, you'll probably find the chord changes are a little fast, so you might need to slow it down. Now, if you're gonna use my beginner song course app, available for iOS and Android, there'll be a link in the description below, it's you can cool, change the speed of the songs. Okay, so if oh, you find shit. it a little bit difficult at the, at the recorded tempo, you can just hit the little button on the side and slow it down a little bit. Of course, with some of these songs that have only got two chords, like that song that have got the same chords bouncing from one to the other all of the way through can get a little bit boring if you're just playing it on your own for, for 10 minutes which too. is how much practice time you've got on songs in your practice game <laughs> some sort of Chinese water torch or something. So I was just do say. That, exactly the same thing for 10 whole minutes. And your fingers are going to be sore. And you're going to struggle to make the chord changes. That's just not the right way to do it. Okay? Using my beginner song course app, we give you drums and bass and a melody played on the piano. So that gives you a, a, a thing to play along you're with. Really It'll feel much app. more like you're actually playing a real song. <laughs> I understand maybe not everyone can afford to buy an app because that is a paid for part of the thing. It's not something I can give away. We have to pay royalties to the, the songwriters and all of that sort of stuff and I share app development costs. So it has to be a paid for thing, okay? If you can't afford it, we include play alongs like that on the website as well. There'll be links on the practice page. They'll give you, actually that song is one of them where you can play along with me and the app. Okay, so there is a, a way of doing it for free still, but you will find the app is an incredible tool because there's a lot more songs than just one or two. There's a whole heap of different songs that you can choose from, even at this early stages. I can't remember, I don't think it's, it's not hundreds for sure that have only got two songs, but like the ones I've got here in front of me that are great songs off that, that are fantastic for beginners in this, uh, you know, just with the A chord and the D chord. Born in the USA by Bruce Springsteen. That one's possibly a little easier because you stay on each chord for a bit longer. Uh, Dance the Night Away I mentioned already. You Sound Good to Me. Again, it's uh, I think it's two bars on each chord from memory. Uh, it's a simple kind of pop, catchy right. tune. Nice song. Oh, uh, Silence is Easy, right. Star the Sailor Song. Video, right. uh, again, it's got a little bit longer I on the chord, so it's slightly easier than uh, Dance the Night one. Away. 
But really, I mean, they're all great songs. They're great fun to play along with. There are more songs than that as well. I'll put links on the uh, on this page on the website as well with any other songs. If you've got any suggestions, if you encounter some songs that just use A chord and D chord, then do let me know if they're not on my list, and I'll investigate. And if you, if you're right, then I'll add them into the course as well. The important thing at this early stage is just to pick a song or a couple of songs and s have a go. Get Even used go. to the feeling of playing a song, understand the importance of the chord changes, start getting used to the feeling of the rhythm, maybe counting along going one, two, three, four, strum, okay. two, three, four, getting used to the feeling of playing music. It is difficult at the early stages. I, you know, I don't want to sound like a broken record here just telling you the same thing, but it's really important yeah, just like, this in these early stages hard, that dude. you don't feel Get like, oh man, I just can't do it, I'm not made to play guitar, it's too hard. Everyone feels like that in those, uh, you know, the first few lessons. Okay, you just get your head down, try and do it, do your best, but be forgiving of yourself all of the way through, and you really enjoy the journey. That that that. Might skip this. Hey, one. how you yeah. doing, Justin? Here. Hope you're having a great time doing my beginners course thus far. Now I'd like to introduce you to my lessons. Because I love you, Justin, but I don't think I'm gonna get your app, bro. Hey, how you doing? Justin, back with you to talk about your practice routine for lesson one. So I've prescribed you a pretty specific 20 minutes a day, which as I mentioned before, I would recommend you do it four times a week, but if you're really going for it and your fingers aren't hurting too much, there wouldn't be any real I'm bad boss bitch. I'm doing it every, like day every day if you so desired. For now. I would prescribe three minutes of D chord, chord perfect practice. Okay, so for three minutes, use a timer. You can use the practice assistant on the app on my website. You can use the app. There's lots of different ways of timing your practice, but I would recommend that you keep a note of it. That at this point, as I'm filming this video, the best way of doing that is to use the practice assistant on my website. But the app will also be very helpful for that as well. The idea with the chord perfect thing, you're just gonna get the chord. You hit start on your timer. You do the fingers, one, two, three, strum make any corrections and then strum it again tell yourself that's the right way to play the chord take your hand off same thing again finger this is one pretty much what i've been doing finger two that's high. finger three attempt the chord make corrections etc that's the chord practice perfect practice and you're going to be doing that for three minutes on the d chord and then three minutes exactly the same exercise but on the a chord okay so three minutes on on d three minutes on a then we're going to go to two minutes of anchor finger work okay now you're not pressing this hard is crazy. This is pretty much what i've been really doing important. This whole time. you're just literally going to be playing the a chord and then the d chord and the a chord but we're not we're not actually playing anything we're not even pressing full strength with the fingers. We're just trying to get the fingers into the right spot and concentrating on that motion of the first finger where it's moving just that little bit within the same frame okay. and working as an anchor. Okay, two minutes on that. Then you've got two times one minute changes on A to D. Okay, if you want, you could do one session of one minute changes, then do the anchor fingers and then do another session of one minute changes. That way you get a little break in between. That's probably not a bad plan. Uh, the, the one minute changes, of course, hit start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, etc. for a minute. And then writing down, really important that you write down or type in if you're using the practice assistant, you, you type in how many changes you did on that day. Okay, it's a really good motivational tool, really help you with your chord changes, which will in turn help you play songs. After that, you've got 10 minutes song practice. Hold 10 minutes. I would really strongly recommend you spend half of your practice time playing songs. That's the point of all this. All right. At the end of the course, you want to have songs that you can play, songs that you can play for other people, that you can play for yourself, that you might play at a gig one day. Songs is what it's all about. Nobody goes to a concert to watch people play scales or play chord changes. They want to hear a song. So I recommend that right from this first lesson that you get into the idea of playing songs. Now, I've given you some suggested songs. You can either use my beginner song course app, you can use the play alongs on the website, you could play along with the original recordings in some cases where it's not too difficult and it's in the right key. Again, there'll be notes, further notes on that on the uh, songs for this stage page, which we looked at last lesson or the lesson before whatever it is that you're doing 
practice playing songs. If you really want to sing, there's no harm in practicing by yourself. And I should note that at least once before the next lesson, you should have a go at playing songs on your own without an app or without a backing track, just so you can clearly hear your guitar and you're not getting an unrealistic view of your progress. Because it is quite a lot harder playing on your own as well, okay? Keeping the chord changes going, especially if you're gonna sing. Singing and playing is quite a, a whole nother level of difficulty as well. Not something that I'd recommend that you get into in that session, I, I can assure you. Probably the most important factor in making fast progress on the guitar is regular practice. I'd really recommend that you try and get four practice sessions in the week rather than just one big session, say, on the weekend. Now, that isn't possible for everyone, I know. My very busy work life, a lot of family commitments or whatever, it might not be possible to make that practice time. But the best way to do it is to find a slot every day that you've got to spend some time with your guitar, either really early in the morning before the kids get up or before you go to work, or lunchtime at work if there's a room that you can do some practice in, or in the evening after the kids have gone to bed or you've got a bit of time where you can just settle and take some time for yourself. If you're not practicing guitar, maybe you want to spend a little bit of time learning some music theory or just listening to music and enjoying it and getting yourself inspired to play more. But just try to carve out that little bit of time Yo, for yourself Where'd you go? Practice a guitar every day if you okay, can. Okay, there is a Justin's video. Music, music, not screen, necessarily I guitar guess. practice. Um, that's a cute video. I like it. It's probably I, I'm kind of trying to work myself down to this when to move on from module one video by the end of today. Um, oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll play the using my practice assistant video in the background. I haven't been using it too much to be honest. Hey, with how you me. doing, Justin? Maybe here, should, welcome to the practice. So far, I've just sort of been like, you know, timing myself and stuff. Also, this fucking sweater, Justin. God damn, that's fresh, bro. Damn, this dude can dress, bro. But yeah, so far, I've just kind of been timing myself. I haven't been really feeling the need. <laughs> I played that wrong. I haven't really been feeling the need to have to use any sort of assistant or anything. And I got after work practice so that's not an issue um yeah it's really what i'm shooting for is to be able to play songs on my own without anything else so i won't I, you probably won't listen to like a bad track well, at least for now with these really shitty songs but i i want to practice just the chords a little bit more i know that's all i've been doing but i really want to be able to get them good by the time I start practicing actual songs, you know. Um, but we'll practice this for a little bit. This one I'm having kind of trouble with, the D chord, just because this ring finger here gets in the way of the... But, I mean, I can usually adjust it pretty well. My fingers are kind of getting used to how they're supposed to be. And surprisingly, the A chord is easier to play like first try because the the ring figure doesn't want to get in the way as much because of how it's curled up so that's good so you gotta practice on doing this first try sometimes i don't hold my middle finger down enough but yeah yeah look at that bro i struggle with this right here but uh i'll try the little song he said it starts with d chord right four I also don't know if like you're supposed to so, so, say after I do that, am I supposed to immediately stop it? I guess it depends on the song. Two, no, I'll do this. Two, three, four. Oof, 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 big oof. That's why he waits until the last beat to switch chords because on because you can hear your fingers going to the next string. I don't know. He hasn't told me any of that.
feels it feels wrong for some reason. Let's do some uh, anchor practice, right? I guess you're not supposed to push down on it. Just like that, 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 that. Start pushing down on this. This, 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 I'll try playing to it. Oops, really fucked that up. Pretty good practice. Pretty good practice. Pretty good practice. Very good. Very good. All right, man. Let's try it again. Oops. Do some more chord for good practice, then I'll watch a little bit of this video. It's just fun. I'm glad I'm having fun with this so far. Just, I'm not miserable or anything. I know I can't play anything yet, but. Then we'll switch. Down hard enough on the middle finger. Uh oh. Which is fine, it's way easier than the middle, the ring finger. Just assistant. In this video, I'm going to explain to you exactly how to use it. So, welcome to the to dashboard. Video on the first eyes. login. This is what you should find, or something like that. It may have evolved by the time you watch this video. Today, mm. we're going to be talking about the practice assistant. So, just click on the practice assistant. Oh, wait. When you first do, you're going to be it prompted says there's a to make YouTube channel. Hold on. What's up with this? I'm going to see what this is. Ah, oh, okay. That's cool. He puts like the grades. Yo! Grade one, blank space by Taylor Swift. I'm grade one. That's me. Fuck. I'm gonna. I'm gonna see. Can I play the Taylor Swift song? Imagine. The oh, fuck. I don't know what F or D minor is. B flat. Oh god. Okay, maybe I don't know this. Maybe maybe I'll back out for now. Yeah, I'll just skip. The, I'll come back to this video if I so feel like now, using this. Go back to here. But so far, uh, I have no, pra no problem practicing, so we'll leave this for now. But this is a video I've, I've been wanting to watch. Hey, how you doing, Justin? Back with you to answer what's been probably the most commonly asked question on my old beginners course, which is, when am I ready to move on to lesson two? 
That's a good question. Like when you go to one-on-one -on -one lessons, the guy, you go for your lesson, he says, well, you're doing this really well, you've got to keep practicing that. Really well. in, in land of internet, you have to self-assess. You have to decide when you're ready to move on. But I'm going to give you some pretty clear guidelines. So before moving on to lesson two, you need to have memorized your A and D chords. So you know how to play the chords without having to look at a chart or a page. Your fingers know you go D chord. Oh, that's this one. Yeah. A chord. Yeah, that's that. There's only two. Right? You need to have memorized those two chords. And you need to be able to change between them at 30 changes a minute. Okay, now, the first few times 30 changes a minute is going to feel nigh impossible. But after a couple of weeks, that's quite an achievable target. Ideally, we want to get up to 60 changes a minute, but not in the first week. So 30 is a really good amount to get to. If you get to the point, though, where you're like, you're at 22 changes or 25 changes, and you've been on it for a couple of weeks, three weeks maybe, and you're like, oh, I'm just getting, starting to get bored of this, move on. Okay, so even if you haven't accomplished all of the stuff that I've set, like you've got to learn this before you move on, if you're getting bored, and you want some new food, then move on to the next lesson. Justin's such a chad, bro. He's like, if you're not having fun with this shit, then just don't do it. That's, that's what's up. I love you. It's got to stay fun. This guitar thing, there's so many people drop out early because they get bored or they didn't practice the right stuff or their fingers hurt. And it's all unnecessary. If, you bought, if you're like, I'm not enjoying the guitar, I need some new stuff, learn some new stuff. But I would recommend that you've got your A chord and your D chord memorized, that you've got 30 changes in a minute and that you've struggled your way through a song a couple of times. There's no more, you, it's not more complicated than that really. For first lesson, I just want you have, to have had a go at playing a song so you're aware of the importance of the chord changes and all of that, that you've got some chord changes down, you've memorized a couple of chords. Actually, it should be, for most of you, achievable in maybe two to four weeks, I would say, four weeks at the maximum. If you're still on four weeks, maybe move on to the... I was gonna say, I mean, I feel like I'm ready to move on like tomorrow or maybe in a few days, maybe like in two days, because I don't know, maybe it's because I practice longer than he suggests, but I feel like I'm already getting the chords down pretty easy, already have memorized. It's just the chord changes thing, and I think I could get that get it by the end of the day. I would recommend if you've got any doubts about so it to go on to new lessons. Handed lessons for the final one of the f lesson one series. I think it's, I did four on the first week for my for that series, maybe I did five, four or five. Watch the, whatever the last one is, and you'll see me sign myself off and go, yeah, I'm cool with this, I'm ready for the next lesson. So if you're at that kind of level, then you're ready for the next lesson too. Hopefully, I'll see you for that very soon. Bye -bye. Cool. You can chat Justin over here. Okay. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, I think for the rest of today, which I don't, I usually stream for about an hour, hour and a half. Coming up on it, I think it's good to just uh, practice the rest of the time. I want to really get these two chords down. Uh, but more importantly, I want to get the, what is it called? Chord changes? Let's just practice a little more. D chord I'm still having a little bit of trouble with. I should have brought a stool. Next time I'll for sure get a fucking stool. I have to be on the edge of my chair. Try. Let's see if we can do three, three first tries. Two. I count that. Three. This is how it, this is how it feels. Four. Pretty good. Putting it right on the tips, that's the biggest thing I've had to learn. Do it one more time because that one's kind of whack. But yeah, biggest thing to tell me is just putting it on the tips of my fingers, which I already knew was just hard to implement. It's pretty good. And then switch to A chord. 
is a little hard to get in at first, but once I remember how to do it, it's pretty easy. Look at that. Ooh. Okay, I forgot to teach myself how it feels. It really does help. Good, I don't know why. Can't remember if that's four or five. Let's do another one for the fans. Okay, so I can get the chords pretty well now. And now I just need to switch between them fast, which might honestly require another day of practice. Okay, I almost did that one wrong. So again, I gotta remember the tips of your fingers. There it is. Switch, switch, switch. Go back. Switch. Go back. Switch. Go back. Switch. Go back. Go back. And yesterday I could I couldn't even like any time I switched it was just obviously the wrong. Like my fingers were in the wrong place, but it's getting pretty good now. Then we'll switch. And like this. That was pretty bad, but it's okay. Well, I put the wrong strings on that one. Ring finger touched the E string. It's all good. Let's go. Now we'll try to play that little song he showed us. It's like this. So it's just. Actually, I'll watch her play it. All of the way through can get a little bit boring if you just. People to get into is this song Dance the Night Away by the Mavericks. It's basically D chord for a bar, two, three, four, A chord for a bar. Okay, so he does, you do, you don't stop the chords. I'm assuming that's something more advanced then, because he just lets them play. Very cool, very cool, very cool. Oops. Okay, okay. <laughs> Oops, hold on. I'm choking. Somehow I've gotten myself in the habit already of stopping it. Okay. This is gonna be harder than I thought during an actual song. Damn, this is tough. The other stuff was easy. It's like having to lift your fingers completely off and then re put them back down in the right place. It's like, oh god. Trace Quattro. I 
chords right one fucking time, dude. That's crazy. back to practicing just the chords for a little bit because I'm kind of getting my ass whooped by the chord switching. You just work on committing them to memory more or muscle memory. I mean. Starting to hurt. I'm reaching that point. I should buy a back. I'm gonna invest in a backless chair, <laughs> armless chair. Just I guess just a normal fucking chair. Uh, damn chord switches dude that's what's gonna get me I think tomorrow might be a fully chord switching day to be honest with you but we're not done yet 
about five more minutes, then I'll do the chord switching exercise where I actually time it. That'll be fun. pick like falls out of my slips out of my fingers I, I'm almost wishing I would have learned my thumb now and also I kind of just like the way it sounds more without a pick so now I'm kind of worried about it because look you can hear the picks like that you can hear it actually hitting them but with your thumb you can only hear the strings I don't know maybe I'll practice with my thumb a little bit it's just harder Maybe I'll try a stiffer one, because maybe that's what's making all the noise. Let's see. This black one is 0.8. I'm pretty sure it's in the 0.4. I know there's a 0.6 in here somewhere, big guy. Is it? No, 1.5. All right. Is it? 0.96. That's to be this guy. Yeah, 0.7. Try it. I mean, it still sounds like the same, right? That's a little better. Let's practice with this a little bit. Oops. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You got this, me. What the fuck can you do? What's happening? To be honest, it doesn't feel like that much of a difference, but I do feel a slight difference. So that's cool. Look, I'm tasting my chipotle. Once I bring a stool in here, I'm gonna power up. I got to put the chair all the way to the fucking side so I can actually play. It's over for you bitches once I get a stool in here. Let's do the practice. I think I'm ready to try the practice. Let's run this timer. Hold on. He said 30 to move on to the next lesson. 60 if you're a pro. Shit, let me get comfy. If I get this shit day three, that's a world record. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Pre practice. 
some pre practice. Get back into the rhythm. How does it feel? Fingers all standing up like this. Okay. Kind of worried. I don't want to do worse than yesterday. All right, let's go right on the other. Ready? good by the, especially by the end but god damn it boy I got there I can't remember if it was 21 or 22 now huh. I'll just say it was uh, 20 uh, 21 21 yo from 9 to 14 at 21 let's go it's not bad it's not bad at all not bad at all. So tomorrow, hopefully, my goals are. I got twenty one there. Let's see. My goal for tomorrow. Let me think. Practice the chords more, obviously. Just practice for like the first like twenty minute ish. Practice them, and then really try on that song for like the rest of the hour probably um, then maybe depending how confident I feel about halfway I'll take the test again and see if I can get 30 um, so we can move on to the next lesson and then maybe we get a taste of what the next lesson is maybe but I definitely want to practice uh, the chord switching more I think I got just you know just straight up getting them on the chords, like my muscle memory. So I'm starting to get some muscle memory for it. Of just putting them on there the right way. Now it's about switching between them fast. We might not even get some more on tomorrow, just because I want to do it fast, you know? But we'll see. I'm at 21 on day three. I don't think that's bad at all, if I'm going to be honest. Um, I, I guess I want to practice a little more. I don't want to end it just yet. Maybe I'll practice to the 110 mark. But yeah. Do it slower, make sure that I get out the notes and they're all right. There's one. Look at that. You hear that? I didn't get the fucking E. Or I hit the E string. There you go. That fucking ring finger, man. If only my ring finger was skinnier. Settle in how it feels. I'm pretty proud of myself the progress I've made in just a few days, to be honest with you. Let's just try doing this exercise.
Okay, that actually does help for some reason. Helps my brain make the right, my neurons are firing the right way, I guess. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, let's go. So that's right here. I want to make sure that touches there. All right, it's pretty good. Should do it for today. But also Hold on, hold on. Man, that's terrible. That'd be easier with the thinner pick. Hold on. Cross the real songs when we get there, but yeah, I had fun practicing today. I might also start doing games soon for fun on stream, but we'll see about that. All right, see you later.